Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. Apparently it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right, Jason? <laughs> He's having fun at the Sands. We're bringing you back to the Las Vegas Convention Center for your live continuing coverage of CES 2017 here on Be Terrific, your official media partner at Be Terrific TV on all social media. I'm really excited about this next guest, Andrea. You know why? Why? I love touch screens. Yes. I really, really love them. And I Who also love it? Apple. And guess what Apple doesn't have on their laptops? A touch screen. That's exactly correct. I've got a ding, MacBook ding, Air. Ding. I've got a MacBook That's Pro. That's what I'm here for, folks. No touch screen. Why do they do that, Remo? I don't know. But because of that, you have a whole business. Yeah. So the fact that Apple don't have touch screen on their laptops is a fantastic opportunity for us. And with their new range that have just been launched, uh, they have the touch bar, which sounds very familiar to our Air bar, <laughs> which makes MacBook Air devices into a touch laptop. So unfortunately, they made the touch bar and they went like, I would say a quarter of the way because they didn't really go halfway. And I know that uh, some people really love this thing. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I played with it, not that good. Um, I, I would love it if I had a touch screen. Not that good or not that necessary? Both. Yeah. I which, thought the well, same thing. Not that necessary, cool. which makes it not that good. Okay. And it probably drains my battery a little yeah. faster, <laughs> even though they swear it doesn't. And so I love what you're doing. I, you. I had to hunt you down and find you Thank because you. I saw this product and said, what is that? Get me one, get, me, get them on air. I mean, literally, we just bought a Microsoft Surface when we got here so that Kevin could produce the show by going into Central Hall and he could drag our time slots around and our schedule around and then type in the notes. Yeah. We bought him a Surface. Okay. That's but if we thing. had met you two days earlier, we would have <laughs> bought him a MacBook Pro, or a MacBook Air, rather. MacBook Air, yeah. yeah. So, um, so what we're trying to emulate with the uh, Air Bar for the MacBook Air is have bring the experience of the iPad to the MacBook Air. So what we're doing, and I can see your phone, and I also have an iPhone, and every day we're actually sweeping with, ta uh, with icons, and, and making gestures on the mobile device, whether it's a Samsung or an iPad or whatever it may be. Then when we come to our tablets or our notebooks, in the case of the, of the Apple products, we have to go back to using a mouse and a trackpad. Why can't that experience be continued on to the device that you have? We, it's going to be really the workhorse. And that's what we're trying to emulate. I'm asking the same questions, and yeah. I'll tell you number one why. I do a lot of renderings for projects we do. I have to mock this setup to show CES what we want to do. I got to sit there and do that with my finger and a mouse or a pen that's over here. But on a Microsoft service, I could draw exactly on the screen. Yeah. That's what you are allowing us to do. In Correct. addition, like I could move things. Yeah. Like I'm talking about this this uh, Trello that we're using. I could move. Oh wow. Look, Look how cool. So we want the gestures that you do on your iPad on this device and the difficulty for us has been is that the operating system is actually not uh, based around touch. So we had to do a number of very cool things to make sure this happens. Oh, that's the, yep. Yeah. Enough packaging on, marketing on the packaging. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, we'd like people to be able to see the demo, you absolutely, know. Absolutely, what... absolutely. So um, so here we have uh, Safari running yep. and uh, I've gone into a real estate, real estate site and looked at uh, a house that I dream about, and uh, <laughs> when I want to flick through the photos, I can just either, you know, click the arrows, or I can just sweep, like I do on my iPhone and my iPad. You're not going to have to dream much longer if you keep selling air bars. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. So please buy, please buy. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. uh, why the air? Can you not do it with the Pro? A uh, good, very good question. The uh, MacBook because air. Because I have a Pro and I want to do this. <laughs> well, so I'm I'm really messed. Up because I've got a MacBook Pro and I can't do it on that, and I've got a MacBook Air, but it's an 11 inch. Oh no. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, it's super <laughs> wah. So there are, there's good news yes. and there's better news. The good news is that we can do it for the majority of the MacBook devices out there, which is the MacBook Air. It was the most affordable, and the thing that this allows for us is allows the Air Bar to sit on the base of the bezel. So, so we, can so we need that show space. This, off. this is going to be cool. So I can I'll show this go ahead. off. Pass this on. I've got a MacBook Air, it's, it's an 11 inch, but you can see right here that I've got. That's this so would, smart. This can ultimately work on your device. It can. 
I'm not going to guarantee it, but if you pull up a web browser, or probably you can probably do a couple of things. Or if you pull out Paint, wow, uh, you could probably do something with it. Very cool. But it's not designed for that size, so the accuracy won't be great. It's designed for the 13.3. So that's the good news, right? That's the, the other. That's actually there's see, better news. You, you can see right here though that yeah. the, there's there's a little bit of a bezel, which is what you were saying, which doesn't exist on the MacBook uh, Pro. Right. Yeah, okay. so the MacBook Pro ranges have a very narrow bezel on the bottom of the display. Uh -huh. And as a result, it means that when we put the air bar there, it will overlap the icons on, the, on this taskbar here. Got it. And that's not going to be the best experience. So what we're currently doing, our uh, fantastic engineers in Sweden are working very hard for the next generation of this device, which is going to be a, a lot thinner. So they're going to work on the optics to make this a lot thinner, so then it can fit onto any device and very, very narrow. Amazing. So, by the way, I want to hug you now. Yeah. <laughs> we can hug. It's all right. Well, can it work? Cause aren't we able to move that bar to another part of the screen? Uh, like, from, you mean from the side? Yes. Um, no. <laughs> the short answer is no, uh, and that has to do with the way the optics work. It won't work the yeah. same way. So what, the, we, what we want this product to be is a plug and what we call plug and touch Got it. solution. So once you plug it in, you shouldn't have to do any firmware updates, any any driver downloads, nothing like that. It should work instantly. And that's the objective we're trying to achieve here. For us to start putting it on the side, or on the, then it starts to play around with the experience Understood. we want. Yeah. Um, it's really awesome. I played with it the other night. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's really just a tremendous product. Can you do this for televisions and stuff? I know you can also do it for PCs. Can you do it for televisions? Uh, uh, in theory, the technology can be uh, expanded to you know, m many larger sizes, but for us, we're attacking already quite a large market. So in the, in, the, in the PC space, we've been told there are 600 million laptops out there, and less than 5% have touch. Really? Microsoft. I thought they all had touch. Less than five. And Microsoft have Windows 10, and they're pushing win Windows 10, which is a touch-enabled operating system, and yet 95% of the laptops out there don't have touch. Of the new laptops being sold, less than 20% are sold with touch. So that means we've got an opportunity for the 95% of the 600 million <laughs> and 80% of the, I'd say about 125, 160 million per year to sell some of these for as a retrofit like or I as said, an add-on. Like I said, pick out this uh, This is how right it's yours. There you go. Where's this place? <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, Oscar uh, found, my, my colleague Oscar found this house. Oh. We're going to have to find it's out. In, it's it looks like in Malibu. Sydney. Yeah. It's in my area in Sydney. And, oh. but, in the, but I'm in the poor area. I was going to say, I like how he <laughs> said it's in my area. He nice. quickly corrected that. Yeah. I'm not there yet, folks, yeah. but I will be It's soon. in my area. But what I'm was it? The, you yeah. said 600 million laptops, 95% uh, don't have uh, touch. Uh, yeah. yeah, I would say so that's what pretty actually, good. Yeah. So what it actually means is you don't have to go buy a new laptop because now, because what people are doing with laptops, they're browsing, Facebooking, Dropboxing their content, so they need a good internet uh, connection. Uh, they're storing things on an external drive for backup, for redundancy. So do you need a big processor? Do you need a bigger screen? Do you need a brighter screen? Well, I do. You do, but you're, but no. you're one in a few million, right. right? I mean, look, this is a perfect example. This is a MacBook Air 11 yeah. inch. The, the specs aren't that great, but yeah. it does exactly what you're saying. Exactly. I, can, I can answer emails at home and all that. I personally like it better than an iPad. Yeah. However, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a touch, which I would like it to have. Correct. And those people, instead of going out to wherever and buying a brand new laptop, right. spending five six $600, for $69 for the PC side and for $99 for the Mac, side. They're all hooked up. You've got a touch screen. That's great. Yeah. How did it you is. think of doing this? I mean, to say like, oh, well, the Mac doesn't have a touch screen or the PC, some of them didn't have touch screen, so I just do it. I mean, how did you think of doing it? Uh, from adversity come great things. And we <laughs> tried to get our technology into built into the laptops. So we talked to all the big players. Uh, we uh, uh, Historically, our technology is actually a licensed product our sensing technology, which is touch and gestures. So in HP printers, we're in there, we're in Amazon Kindle, uh, we're in, in all Volvo, Volvo cars, the brand new ones coming out. We're in GM cars, we're in the top cars in China. So uh, is which, that the way all screens are doing it now? Instead of actually having the touch on the other side of the screen and heat sensing you, they're actually having optics sense you? Uh, not all. They're not all doing it. I would say, without boasting, we are the leader in that space. Yeah. We're the leader in that space. And, we tried to get this technology into the laptops, but the sample that we would get would be so small 
it would be like maybe 50,000 units and that's nothing, that's not going to turn the lights on. So we've changed our business model and we said we're going to bring this directly to the consumer and address 600 million people. I love it, think about all the hospitals that don't need to replace computers now. Think yeah. about even food services, right? They all want to have touch screens everywhere, yeah. every computer, every register. You can have a register that's got an older computer on it and doesn't have a touch screen, you now have it. You, you, could, you could make this work. Now, is it possible to put that on a CRT, or not a CRT, a uh, LCD monitor that's like a 15 inch or a 13 inch in this case, yes, and, and plug absolutely. that into the computer so I can that's, actually make yeah. it work? Absolutely, absolutely. As long as, the, as long as it's the right size, right. then it's made for that, then you can hit all the right accuracy, with right. the right accuracy. Uh, the other thing is you can use gloves. You can literally pick up a paintbrush and use a paintbrush to paint. Right, so. and the reason why is because it's not sensing heat. Correct. It's it's sensing it's optics. An, it's an object that's cool. reflecting light, essentially. Wow, very yeah. cool, Remo. Yeah. This is Thank awesome. You. Airbar, airbar.com? Uh, actually, the, the web website, we couldn't get that one. So our, <laughs> our website is www.air.bar. That's it. Air.bar, love it. it. Thank Remo, you very much. This is awesome. Thank you Thank for you. coming on. I really Thank love it. Thank you. Air. Nice to meet you. Jason, you're at the Sands. We're going to continue this live coverage. What do you got, buddy? Be terrific. The official coverage of CES 2017.